Okay. Well, welcome, welcome. My name is Tracy Black, and I'm super excited to have you here tonight. Um, I am one of your co-hosts, um, along with um, Stacy, Brittany, and Melissa. So they'll be speaking in just a little bit. But tonight, like dig in, this is gonna be so much fun. If you've got a notebook and a pen handy, please go grab it and have it there. Um, you're gonna learn a lot tonight. Um, we are super excited. The focus of the class tonight, tonight is gonna to be all about um, tiny health habits that you can make for the new year. We really sort of love this theme and we're gonna show you how to do that with essential oils. So very excited to have you here and a big thank you to whoever invited you to this workshop. Be sure at the end, to get back with them and tell them to thank them for inviting you here tonight because they are amazing. Okay, so um, like I said earlier, my name is Tracy. And let me tell you, um, I'm really excited um, to share so much tonight, in particular, why I got into essential oils and how to use them. So I will tell you, I actually didn't even know that I needed or wanted essential oils. I was really just looking for a way um, to make my own natural cleaners. And I'll tell you the reason why I wanted to do that um, was because my husband um, has autoimmune issues. And years ago, when we first found out um, that he had these issues, um, I don't know if anybody else struggles with autoimmune. If you do, please type in the, in the comment box. We'd love to hear from you. But at the time we were reading food labels because gluten was a trigger for him. And we're reading all these food labels. Well, I don't know if you've been down this road before, but once you start reading food labels, then you start reading the labels on like everything, like shampoo bottles. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is in this? Or like cleaners. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even pronounce this. Like we were turning over labels on everything. And I had three little kids at the time. And so I was even more cautious and even more like hyper aware of like what all the things we had in our home. And so I was like, okay, I think the first thing we can do is get some natural cleaners in here, but I don't know if you knew this, right? A lot of the natural cleaners in the store, they say natural, but a lot of it's kind of greenwashing because if you still look at the label, you're like, I, I can't pronounce these ingredients. Like I thought natural meant like from nature, like actual natural stuff. And so as I started researching, I had a friend who was getting into essential oils and she was like, you need to try this. And I will tell you, I was like, all right, I'm gonna give this a try and see how it goes. And it was pretty amazing. I was just looking for cleaners. I had no other expectations beyond that. And I really fell in love. Um, we were using essential oils to make all kinds of cleaners. You know, if you've ever gone to the store and you're like, oh, eucalyptus and mint cleaner, I want that. Or citrus and lavender, I want that. Well, here's the thing, you can make all of that for like pennies on the dollar. But what I found was not only did my home smell great, but I was finding all of these like natural solutions for digestion, which is a huge issue for our family because we've got autoimmune issues. We also found that I was diffusing oils and I'm like, oh my goodness, I feel so good, like less grumpy, less crabby at the kids or like at my husband, right? And the other thing that was like the unexpected wow factor for me was skincare. And I'll talk about that in just a little bit, but I was like, wait a minute, I can make my own skincare? Like this is pretty amazing, I love this. So like I said, I got into it for cleaning with like zero expectation of like discovering anything else. And I really found that they were like, hundreds of uses for essential oils that I never even knew existed or that I never knew that I even needed. So I was really excited to give it a try. And um, what I found was they were just amazing. So um, I'm gonna introduce you to some oils tonight. And this is what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about um, what's called the premium starter kit. So this is like a starter kit of oils. So let me just tell you, there are literally hundreds of different essential oils and blends. It can be kind of overwhelming to figure out like what to get started with. So we like to focus on what we call like a starter kit because it's just 12 oils, right? It's, they're all very versatile. They're such a great way to kind of like you know, get started with essential oils. It's kind of like when you first moved out, got your own apartment or home, you didn't start out with like the whole spice rack, right? Maybe you started out with salt and pepper and some oregano and some basil. This is kind of like your starter, right? So that's why it's amazing. So I'll delve into that in just a little bit, but just in case you've never heard of essential oils or you're like, I, I had a friend who told me I needed to be here, I don't know. Let me just give you kind of the basics. So um, essential oils really are just the aromatic essences of plants. Um, that's basically it. So what happens is, this is my best description. 
I'm very visual. I don't know if anybody uses an Instant Pot or does like pressure cooking, um, but I love my Instant Pot. So just imagine like a giant Instant Pot. And what you do is take botanicals, right? So Pine, they'll pine needles in there. If it's lavender, they'll put lavender flowers in there, right? So they put the botanicals in like a giant pressure cooker, low heat, right? With low steam, low heat. And so what they do is um, it heats up the botanicals. And then what happens is it steams up and through the steam, it goes through a condenser and then they separate the oil from the water. So that water is floral water, right? But the oil that's the essential oil. So it's highly, highly concentrated. Um, and what's amazing about essential oils, right, is that, you know, whether we're using it on the skin, using it internally, using it through a diffuser or aromatically, um, it affects our bodies in just these amazing ways. So the molecules are so tiny, they actually cross the blood brain barrier, which is pretty amazing. Um, but they're so concentrated. Again, I'm super visual. You might use half a teaspoon of peppermint extract, for instance, right? To make like peppermint brownies, like a big batch of brownies, you would literally own, only need to use like two drops of peppermint and a whole batch of brownies. So just to kind of give you a visual of like, how does that compare to like an extract? It's so concentrated, literally just a couple of drops is all that you're gonna need. So tonight you're gonna learn more on like how to use the oils, like really practical ways to do that. And then some simple, like tiny um, health habits you can make with the oils that can make a huge impact on your health. Um, but that's just kind of to get you started. So um, more to come on that. But here's, like I said, I'm gonna show you real quick. This is this starter kit. So you take this off. And you'll see there are these gorgeous essential oils in here. So there's 10 in here. And if you open up this little flap, there's more. When I first got my set, I didn't even know there was more in here, but there's more. There's two more essential oils in here and we're gonna cover all of them tonight. I'm gonna cover three of my favorites right now. And I'll tell you, they're amazing. So the first one is frankincense. So if you've not tried frankincense yet, let me just tell you, when I first got this kit, I was like, franken what? I'm never gonna use this. I should just give this away. And then I found out it was the most expensive oil in the kit. And I'm like, wait, hold the phone. Tell me why this is so expensive because I knew it was used in the Bible, right? We all know um, at the time of his birth, Jesus was given frankincense and myrrh because it was worth more than gold. Well, let me tell you, if you know what frankincense does to your face for any of the ladies that are on the call. Um, it is like sphinx for your face. No joke. It really is like fine lines. Okay. Or like I, after my, I had my three kids, like sunspots, melasma, it has done wonders for my skin, like clearing my skin, evening out the skin texture. It is amazing. That's why I say ladies in particular, this is the one, okay? If anybody is like, I don't know what I'd ever use frankincense for, tiny health habit, you know what you can do? You can get rid of that expensive department store serum. That's what I did. I totally would be like, I could eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches all day long, but I'm gonna spend money on my skincare. That's just how I was. I love my skincare. And um, I stopped buying those expensive serums. I don't need them anymore. You know what I do? I just make my own. It's so easy. You can use a dropper bottle or you can use a pretty roller like this. What I like to do is I'll fill this like a roller bottle like this with rosehip seed oil. So I'll let you see. So it's got a little roller top like this, rosehip seed oil, um, I also like sesame is really nice or avocado, but rosehip hands down is my favorite has a lot of great essential fatty acids. You can get it on Amazon, just get something organic. This is what I do. I'll then add um, anywhere from five to 10 drops in a dropper like this, right in the, the roller. You can add lavender too. And I just put it like this. After I wash my face, I'll just put it right under my eyes, right in any of the spots that I kind of need it. Or if you wanted to, you could even add frankincense to your favorite moisturizer, right? A couple of drops in there and just put it all over your face. It's amazing. Let me just tell you right there, you can give away or, or throw out that serum that you're buying from the department store and use frankincense instead. It's awesome. But frankincense is also really great for emotional support. So anytime you're feeling overwhelmed, overstressed, I like to put frankincense right in the back of my neck or just put like a drop in my hand and cup it over my nose. And oh, I can just like feel like all the worries rolling off my shoulders. It is amazing. 
Okay, another oil that I'm gonna to talk to you about tonight is my Raven and I'll show you this one. So Franken says it's a single oil, Raven is a blend. So Raven is made with eucalyptus, lemon, peppermint, Ravensara and wintergreen. So when you open it up, it will kind of smell like, like a Vicks. That's my best description, right? Like if you've never really used essential oils before but it has a very strong like eucalyptus smell to it. So. This one literally smells like you're walking into a spa. So what I like to do with this one is take an Epsom salt bath. So if you haven't taken a bath this year yet, that's another healthy habit that I would highly suggest doing is taking an Epsom salt bath like once a week. So all you do is just warm bath or if you're not a bath person, foot bath, right? And soak your feet in it and do either half a cup to a cup of Epsom salt, which has magnesium and it's so good for you. And then you can add some Raven in there too, but it'll smell so good like you're adding expensive spa that you're treating yourself at home. But there are some other cool things that Raven can do for, your, for you because it's got the wintergreen um, and the eucalyptus. You can also make a homemade chest rub with this. So a couple of drops of coconut oil, one to two drops of Raven. I just like mix it in my hands and like put it, rub it on my chest and on my back. It is amazing. Again, no more need. There's no more um, Vicks in this house, right? I like to use my Raven instead. And another oil that I'm in love with, this one's amazing. It's called Thieves. Um, you may have heard of Thieves before because it's such a popular oil. So um, if you've ever, you know, walked into like a health food store, they might have something that sounds kind of similar, but Thieves is definitely a Young Living. This is the, the oils that we're talking about tonight. They're Young Living oils. This is definitely a Young Living original. It's got cinnamon, clove, rosemary, eucalyptus, and lemon. It literally, when you open up the bottle, it smells like cookies. That's my best description, like cinnamon cookies baking in the oven all day. Like it'll make your home smell so good. And what you can do is with this kit, you also get a diffuser, right? So this is what it looks like, which is really cool. But you can add um, thieves into the diffuser and it'll smell amazing. Again, smells like cookies. But thieves, when you take it internally, what you can do is like a spoonful of honey, and a drop of thieves, I'll do that instead of taking like um, just anything to soothe my throat in particular. I've got a tickle in my throat or something, I'll do thieves instead. But thieves is also really good for immune support when you take it internally. And again, a little really goes a long way because it is so highly concentrated. One drop on a spoonful of, spoonful of honey and that's what you could take, right? Like if you've got a tickle in your throat, got to clear it up. Something else that I'll even do is um, like a spray bottle, like a little mini spray bottle, add, it, add water to it. One drop of these spray my throat. Ooh, it's so refreshing. It feels so nice. Just helps to clear my throat. Um, it's amazing. So yep. Thieves is so good for immune support. And like I said, Raven is like your homemade chest rub. So especially for like this winter time of year, these two are definitely um, like the top two that I'm always reaching for. They're so, so good. So um, I'm gonna introduce Stacy up next, but I forgot to mention something earlier. Um, after we're done with this class tonight, I want to invite you guys to stay on for a little bit longer and we'll talk about that towards the end, but we're going to be doing an introduction to the business as well. So I want to invite everybody here to make sure that you come and join us for that. Um, it's just an extra 30 minutes and you're going to learn a ton. So make sure you stay on. Okay. But I wanted to invite Stacy to come on and share her favorites. Thank you so much, Tracy. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. I'm Stacy Cook. Um, I've been using essential oils for a little over six years now. And I first started considering essential oils after getting exhausted reading labels in the aisle of Target. Um, totally similar to what Tracy was talking about. Um, for real, uh, I was pregnant at the time and it was the first time I was really kind of tuning into looking at what was in the products I was putting on my body. You know, I had become a food label reader already, but I wasn't really looking at what was going into my lotions or my shampoos or in my cleaning products. And as I had kind of been doing some research, I found that you know, there's a whole bunch of garbage and junk chemicals that are allowed into our personal care products. And so it is really important to read your labels. And as I would stand in the aisles reading labels, I felt like I was exhausted because there was nothing that felt safe, clean or natural. So um, I just 
you know, started looking at oils as um, an alternative so I could just make some simple DIY things. I wanted to make lotion. I wanted to make facial serum. I wanted to make some cleaning products. Um, so that's why I started looking at oils. Now, when you start to look into essential oils, you will find that there is a lot out there and they will all tell you that they are pure and they are the best. But here's the thing, they literally cannot all be pure because every year more lavender essential oil is sold than there are lavender plants. So someone's not telling the truth and someone's putting some garbage in their essential oils. Um, so um, that's why I chose Young Living for my family. They are the OG. They are the original. They have been around for over 25 years. They have got this down. They know exactly what they're doing. Uh, they have their own farms. I've gotten to visit three of them, which is awesome. I've been able to participate in the harvest and see the distillation process. Um, and it really is pretty awesome when you get to see with your own eyes that the only thing going into those um, distillation tanks, kind of like what Tracy was describing with the Instant Pot, um, the only thing going in there is plant material. And the only thing being bottled is the essential oil that comes out. Uh, it's just, it's, it's really fantastic to get to see it. And Young Living is very transparent and they invite anyone to come and see it. Um, and that's what they call, you know, their seed to seal guarantee. So they guarantee the quality and purity of their essential oil from the time that seed is sourced all the way until it is bottled. So um, you know that it's, you know, pure. Uh, and that's why for me, I have felt comfortable using their essential oils on my son since he was four months old. You know, I know that there are no chemical additives. I don't have to be worried about anything like that. And there is simply no other company inviting you to come visit their farms and being totally transparent with you. So all that to say, I did my research on oils and I grabbed the best little kit from Young Living and I started to make some of my own DIYs. Uh, I made body butter, I made facial serum, very similar to the one Tracy was talking about with frankincense, um, made soft scrub, all those things. They all were great, love them. Uh, shortly after I had gotten my kit, Tracy, who's the person who I ordered my kit with, um, she connected me to an oil education group. And then my mind was blown because I honestly had no idea all the other things I could do with my essential oils. Like I was happy with body butter and facial serum. I didn't know that I could support my immune system. I could support my respiratory system. I could deal with life stresses just a little bit easier. Um, all of those things, I didn't know. I didn't know I could swap out even more conventional products. Uh, so once I got plugged into that education group, I learned a whole lot more. And that was truly the turning point for my family. And we began to use our oils for everything. They became our first line of defense for our health. Um, and really they were you know, what helped us start the journey to remove all the chemicals from our home. So you uh, may have heard me mention manage some occasional life stresses. And that's where one of my favorite oils comes in, which is Peace and Calming. So Peace and Calming is this beautiful, beautiful little blend of tangerine and orange and ylang ylang and blue tansy and patchouli. And it just smells incredible. I can't hold it without smelling it. Um, so one of my favorite things to do when I feel at the end of my rope, you know, overwhelmed by maybe the little things in my house, like children and puppies. Um, I just put a drop in my hands and just one drop, this bottle's almost dry. Uh, rub them together and just inhale. And that is one of the easiest ways for me to calm down, relax. It's kind of like what Tracy was saying with that drop of frankincense on the back of your neck. Uh, same idea. Peace and Calming is an oil that you're gonna either use topically or diffuse it. Uh, it's not one that you would ingest. Any of Young Living's oils for ingesting are labeled with a white label. They're Vitality oils. Um, but I love Peace and Calming, you know, inhaled. Uh, I love, you know, a roller with it is great on my six-year-old. I'll do that right up and down his spine, like a lot, like really slathered on, um, really good for calming him down. And we do have a puppy now and Peace and Calming is one that I like to diffuse in the kitchen where we all are, especially, you know, 
around dinner time because for me that can be a really chaotic time. Um, it is witching hour, not only for my son, but for my dog too. I don't know why she goes bananas between like five and 6 p.m. But um, I diffuse the peace and calming. It helps soothe all the little things. So peace and calming is one of my favorites. Um, another one I wanna share with you is peppermint. So peppermint is one of Young Living's oils that is labeled as a vitality. See, it has the white label. So that means you can ingest it. It's also labeled for aromatic and topical use. So you can use it in all the ways, totally safe and good to do that. Peppermint, oh, it's, it's, it's the oil I always have with me. I always keep a bottle in my purse, mainly because I'm super paranoid about having bad breath. So I like to just put a drop right on my tongue and know that I have the mintiest breath ever. I actually had my chiropractor tell me the other day, you must be wearing something minty. And I was like, no, I just put some in my mouth. I just have that good of breath. Um, <laughs> but other things that peppermint is great for, it's very energizing. So if you feel like you need a kick in the pants, put a drop of peppermint in your water bottle, drink that. Um, great for extra energy going to the gym, that type of thing. Uh, it's also really cooling. Now, not so much an issue for me right now, I'm in the Chicago area, but in the summer, let me just tell you, peppermint on the back of my neck is so important because I don't like to sweat unless I'm at the gym. So I need to stay cool at all times. And so when you're outside in the heat and hot, I like peppermint on my neck. Um, but for this time of year, a good little healthy habit, if you're like coming off a big binge from the holidays and maybe you went big with the cookies and the um, holiday meals and all that, and uh, maybe your you know, blood sugar's out of whack where you're having lots of cravings, because that's what happens to me. If I eat a ton of garbage, then I'm crave, I just crave it, you know, and I like want to eat late at night and all that stuff. So if you want to help manage some cravings a little bit, um, put some peppermint in your water. I find that it just really helps me keep like a good, healthy appetite and um, not be so sugar cravy. So that is peppermint. Another one of my favorites, um, just to be clear, like all the oils in the kits are my favorites. So um, that's just how that works because uh, they are specifically selected to cover a little bit of everything. Like they hit on all of our body systems. So it's just a really good collection. I find that actually the kit oils are the oils I reorder the most frequently just because they're the real, they're the basics. Like Tracy was saying, they're those like salt and pepper, butter, the, the basics. Um, but the other one I wanna share with you is Panaway. Panaway is an oil you're only gonna to use topically or in your diffuser, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I think using it in your diffuser is a huge waste um, because it's so valuable. And yes, it smells great. And you can make like a beautiful little root beer float blend with it, yes. But like, if you want the power of Panaway, you wanna get that on your skin. You want it on your body because it is going to help soothe your muscles. Like you worked out too hard, you shoveled a ton of snow, you have, you know, achy knees from doing too many squats, whatever it is, you wanna like keep yourself feeling good, you get some pan away on that. It is just super soothing to overworked and tired muscles. Um, and that's what I use it for. So I use this mostly after working out um, or if I've like done something strenuous in the yard or shoveling, like I was saying, that type of thing. So that's what I use my pan away for. Or um, even if you have like, if you hold a lot of tension in your neck and shoulders, um, maybe if you're like working at home a lot and you don't have the best workstation set up. Um, so you're like hunched over your laptop or you're like working in bed with your laptop or anything like that. Um, and you're like cranks in your neck, pan away rubbed into that is gonna be really soothing and um, is really great for anything like that. So. Those are some of my favorites. Um, I am going to pass it over to Brittany, who is going to share some of hers. Thanks, Stacy. Can everyone hear me okay? Good, okay. Um, I'm Brittany Zajac, and I've been using oils for about three years now, thanks to Stacy. Um, she did a class for me and a couple of my friends about three years ago, and I was very overwhelmed and went home and started throwing out everything in our house because I had a three month old and we were talking about the products we use and the things that we were consuming. 
and I just kind of went a little crazy and I had to take a step back and do it slowly. Um, but like Tracy mentioned in the beginning, I got into it for cleaning and, you know, getting the products out of our house that were toxic to me and to my son and to my dog and my husband. Um, so that's where we started. And ever since then, you know, I, all of our products are now young living and oils are everywhere. And I couldn't even imagine having a house and being a mom without them now. Um, so it can be overwhelming at first because you're faced with all of this information that you never knew, but Young Living makes it really easy for you to get products in your home for a fraction of, of the cost. And you're not spending money at Target every week, you're getting them shipped to your door. So it's, it's awesome. I've never looked back. Um, so before I get into some of my favorites, I wanted to talk about just three different ways that you can use essential oils. Um, there are many, many ways, but three ways are, the first one is diffusing oils. So the kit comes with a diffuser, which is awesome. And when you inhale an oil, it actually takes 22 seconds for that oil to reach your brain. And the only way to reach your limbic system is through smell. So when you're breathing something in and you're living your or um, if you, even if you're sick, um, if you're breathing in thieves and if you're breathing in all of the oils, it's gonna, it's gonna really help your immune system. And also they just smell so good. So why wouldn't you wanna be breathing that in? Um, there's, they are benefit your body rather than hurting your body like candles can do. So um, I have a diffuser in like every room in my house and even the bathrooms. And it's just, a great way to ditch the candles and ditch the chemicals and to just support our bodies with diffusing. Um, another way is topically. So just because of how essential oils are made up, they can rapidly absorb in our skin. Um, so sometimes when you apply an oil, it almost seems to like kind of disappear on your body really quick. Um, but it actually takes like two or three minutes for an oil to reach your bloodstream and 20 minutes to affect every cell in your body. And then it metabolizes within two and a half hours. So if you think about that, like you're putting it on your body and within 20 minutes, it's affecting every cell in your body. You want to use pure, the purest oils because they're working on your body and you don't want to be putting chemicals on your body or things that other companies add into their bottles like fillers or whatever you want to be putting the pure oil and um you just know that's what you get with young living one really cool thing with putting it on your body just as like a side note with dye dries and that's an oil that you can use for digestion and that i use that topically the most and it works so quickly you rub it on your belly if you have like a digestion problem and it it's honestly actually i think what sold my mom to get the kit and she's on this call too. Um, but it just, it, it works, it works amazingly. Um, and then the last way is internally. Um, so you can add essential oils to your water, to your drinks, to like a cocktail, to um, your dishes that, that you bake. Like Tracy was mentioning in the beginning, peppermint oil, you can add those to um, the things that you're making in your kitchen. And lately I found having like fresh herbs has been hard. And so Young Living has like a whole line for your kitchen. They have cilantro, they have ginger, they have oregano, all of those. And so you can have those on hand and you only need a drop or two for the recipes that you're making. So you don't have to run to the store and get fresh um, ingredients all the time. So that makes it really easy and it smells really good when you're cooking it. So three of my favorite oils, the first one is Stress Away. Um, it's, it's just, it smells like vacation in a bottle. I love it. It's my perfume. Um, it has vanilla in it and it has tangerine in it. It has cedarwood. It's just, it has lavender. It smells so good. Um, I diffuse this probably every day. <laughs> um, I like to do it in the morning. I like to do it um, when I'm taking a bath too. Um, and I'll close the door and it'll just 
I'll pretend that no one's around and that I can just be in a spa. It smells really good. Um, I really like that it has cedar wood in it too, because it's cedar wood I use for just sleep support in general, and it's really calming. Um, so when I diffuse it, I just immediately can just be calm. Um, I like to put a couple drops in my hand and just rub it on the back of my neck. So I'm smelling it throughout the day. Um, and like I said, I use it as a perfume and people compliment it all the time. And a perfume, you know, I don't, I don't know, like really expensive perfumes cost a lot of money. And I, you can use a drop of this a day and it'll last you a very long time. So you're saving money right there using that. Um, lavender, everyone knows about lavender. I feel like it's like the gateway to loving all the oils. Um, it's super calming. It's really good for your skin. So like frankincense, I use frankincense and lavender in a glow serum that I put on at nighttime. Um, and it's mixed with like a carrier oil, whatever carrier oil is good for your skin. And I put it on before bed and I can just smell it throughout the night. Um, and it really helps to just calm me down and it's great for my skin. It's great for wrinkles. This is one that I actually keep in my purse for like cuts and I have two boys. So there's always a fall or a skin knee or something. And I can just take this out. I put a little bit on my, my finger and rub it right on. Um, and the healing time is much quicker when we use lavender. It's also really good on like dryer balls and of course like in your diffuser too. Um, but I, I, I feel like I use lavender more for like topically and for everything else. Um, I do diffuse it, but not as often because I just feel like I grab it for so many other things and I'm always like always on my fingers. Or I'm always smelling it. Um, and I really like to use it in Ep Epsom salt baths. So when I'm, when I'm done with the bottle, I'll take this little white part off and I'll put it upside down, like in the salt. Um, so the salt will like pull all the extra oil out and then you can just take a cup and put that in your bath. Um, or you can just do a drop from your bottle, but I like to use every last drop of these bottles. Um, and you can also save the bottle when you're done and pop a roller on top and then you can make like a little roller ball. So don't ever throw these away because you can do so many things with them. You can give a sample to someone. Um, yeah, so keep those. And then my last one is Citrus Fresh. This is, it smells, it gets rid of all of the smells in your house. It's the best after dinner. If you made something that smells or if you made fish or something that you just want to get rid of, or if you um, just have a stinky house. Sometimes you people have stinky houses, with dirty diapers, and you just wanna get rid of the odor. You can put this in your diffuser and within a couple minutes, your whole house is smelling so good. I like to put this in the bottom of um, trash cans, like a, on a cotton ball. Um, so then when you're opening and refilling it, you kind of get that fresh smell. Um, it's also really good in like garbage disposals. Um, and to just diffuse. I diffuse this a lot. All three of these oils were like right by my diffuser when I was coming down here to start the class. I grabbed them like so quickly because these are just my go-to. And I love that they come in the kit because I would be buying them anyway. Um, this is also one that I use for dryer balls. So I'll put a couple drops on that when I put my clothes in the dryer. Um, and it's just a clean way for your clothes to smell good instead of filling your clothes with all of the, the toxins that are out there. So those are a couple oils that I love. And then the Thieves hand sanitizer. So everyone is using hand sanitizer these days like crazy. And I'm so thankful to have this one instead of the ones that are on the market right now. This has peppermint oil in it and it's, I basically use it as like a lotion. Um, it's, it goes on so easily. It dries so nice and it just smells good. You're not like having a headache or you don't feel nauseous. You know how those hand sanitizers can just make you want to throw up sometimes this like it dries, it's already dried and it just smells so fresh. Um, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. And like, like I said, it has peppermint in it. 
and it's it's really good. And in the kit, you get a small one, so that's perfect for your purse. And then when you want to refill, you can just get the big one and then fill up the little ones, so you have multiple ones. But we have this all over our house, and it's it's also more moisturizing. So like I said, I use it as a lotion. You know, when your hands are dry, it's perfect because you can use it for dry skin and all to get rid of all the germs. So I'm so thankful that we have this um, through Young Living. So I think that was all of my part. So I'm going to pass it to Melissa and she's pregnant. So I'm sure she has some fun tips for us. <laughs> Hello, um, I am Melissa Harrell and I'm from Nebraska and um, I, and I gotta fix my view here. I originally started with just the cleaner. So kind of like what Tracy said, I just wanted to clean my house with better products. Um, so I actually asked my friend, I was like, hey, will you order me a bottle next time you put an order in? And she was like, oh yeah, sure. Um, and I loved it. I Before that I was cleaning with vinegar, which um, is another really great like natural option, but the smell was getting to me. Like I couldn't mop my floors with it anymore. I couldn't wipe my counters with it anymore. I was just, I was like, I was done. Like I was vinegared out. So I switched um, to the Thieves Cleaner. I loved it. Um, fast forward like six months and I knew my husband and I were going to try starting to have a family. So I was kind of like, okay, I think I want to try other things because, you know, I know, I know like my friend also, sh she would get a headache and she would use peppermint or she would get a stomach ache and she would use like digize or peppermint or even like heartburn type things and that kind of stuff. Um, she just was turning to her oils for a lot more more things. And so I kind of wanted in on that. So, um, I ordered my starter kit <clears throat> and I used, um, the most I used lavender and that was about it. Um, I was really scared. I didn't know any, I was like scared to ask any questions about the oils. Um, so probably for, for most of my pregnancy, um, my first, I'm pregnant for the second time right now for my first pregnancy, I use lavender just cause I feel like that was a safe oil and that's what everybody recommends for a lot of different things. And, um, that's what I used. It wasn't until I actually had my daughter that I started to kind of branch out a little bit. Um, you know, I had a friend who, um, a different friend who also, um, buys the young living and she would tell me like, Oh, like, Oh, Oh, she's crying. Like your baby's crying. Like when was the last time she pooped? Like, try this, try that, you know, and she helped me a lot too. So, um, once I had my daughter, I started using them more. I started educating myself better. Um, thanks to like our Facebook, we have a lot of like education on our Facebook groups. Um, also, you know, I was, I was also nursing. And so I was up a lot in the night. I was looking at Instagram and I was learning through Instagram all from like all these different people on our team or not on our team. And so, um, I really started kind of nerding out about it and, it wasn't until last spring, it was kind of when like quarantine hit that I decided like, you know what, like I have this passion for it. I want to tell everybody about these products. And so that's when I started to share more, um, with other people as well. So, um, I have three oils as well to talk about. <clears throat> and the first one I want to talk about is Valor. Um, and so I think it was Stacy who had, um, peace and calming. So I kind of like rotate between my calm oils. I kind of almost feel like it depends on the season or something. And so sometimes I'm like, um, like Brittany was talking about stress away. Sometimes I'm like obsessed with stress away. And then for a while I'll be obsessed with peace and calming. And then right now I'm really obsessed with Valor. Um, Valor is known as a bright bravery oil sometimes. And I actually, before this call, I put a couple drops in my hand and I don't know if you can tell, it's actually like a blue, it's blue. It has blue tansy in it. So this also goes into my face serum. Um, Tracy was talking about, you can make your own face serum with the frankincense. Frankincense, Valor, and Lavender are like three of my go-tos for my face serum because they're so good. Um, Valor, I put a couple drops in my hand and then I just have like these diffuser bracelets that I just rub it back and forth. And so then it's just like a diffuser all day. It's like, I'm wearing it. I smell it and that kind of a thing. And then whatever's left on my hands, I kind of just like go through my hair because I just love the smell so much. So 
you can do that with the other oils too, but um, right now it's Valor. I've also made a roller out of Valor. When I had my wisdom teeth out, um, I made a roller and it was part Copaiba, which doesn't come in the starter kit. It came in the starter kit when I first signed up, but it doesn't anymore. They actually, I think, replaced it with Valor. Um, but I put part Valor in it and um, I would just roll it on my jaw on both sides and um, just to kind of help. It's really good for like sore muscles. Some people call it the chiropractor in a bottle. Um, I have started when I go to the chiropractor. Um, again, I'm pregnant, so <laughs> I have been going about once a week and I'll roll it on my spine. Um, I've read that it can help to kind of just help support that adjustment. And so I think like, hey, what the heck, why not do it? Cause I'm, I'm using it anyway. Um, but I, I love the smell of Valor. Um, I really do. So it's also named after um, all of the oils that are inside of Valor. They are um, a mixture of the owls, the owls, <laughs> sorry, the oils that Roman soldiers used to bathe in before they would go like into war. So I just find that really interesting. Our founder, Gary Young, he, um, he like did some reading about that. And so then that's how he decided which oils would go into here and why, it, how it got the name Valor. So um, I don't know, that just, that's really cool to me. And I love hearing like the history side of things as well um, with the different oils, but um, yeah, Valor, Valor is really great. I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I didn't do anything. Um, and this is one that doesn't have to be diluted. So I just put this on topically. I don't diffuse it very often, but that's just because I use it topically so much that um, I just don't think to diffuse it, but it would also be really good. I just, it smells really good. So this would be a good one for the diffuser. Um, the next one is a lemon and it has a white label on it. And so that's how you know that this can be ingested. Lemon is really good. I like to put it in my water or I will make a drink with like my Ningxia red and I'll put maybe like some carbonated water in with it and some lemon, like a drop or two of lemon. Um, you can use this also topically if you want, but it is, um, it does make your skin a little bit sensitive to the sun if you go out into the sunlight afterwards. So this would be one that you would use like at night um, or something like that if you're doing like a spot treatment or something like that. One of my other favorite things for lemon, so although this has a white label, it can be ingested, you can use it on um, like cleaning. So if you have, um, I know Brittany talked about reusing these bottles. I reuse my bottles all the time. I actually have bought like little spray tops you can put on them. And so you can make like a room spray. Um, you can get roller tops from Young Living that just snap on. And there's actually two that come in your kit. They, they just snap on so you can make a roller. Um, you can peel this off, peel the labels off. Lemon is like a glorified Goo Gone. So for my wedding, when I got married a few years ago, I used Goo Gone to get um, labels off of wine bottles. Um, we use those as decorations. And I will tell you, I use so much Goo Gone, but I will tell you that lemon just seems like it works so much faster. Um, has better ingredients. It'll get the stickiness right off. I've even used this on like wood or, you know, I bought like a little, like a gift for my niece that actually came from the target dollar section. And it had like that $3 sticker on the back. And so I went to peel it off. And of course it doesn't come off easily. So all I did was like, I dropped a few drops of lemon on there and the whole thing, like the, the residue that was left kind of just came off and I just took a warm rag. So lemon is really good. I also put this in my tea. Um, the lemon juice I, I was buying. So I would buy like organic lemon juice. Usually, um, the date on the jar would be like 30 days after it was opened. This is way cheaper and it lasts me a lot longer. So I'll make a tea with honey, um, with lemon, and then with like a drop of thieves, especially if I feel like a tickle coming on or like in my throat or something like that, just for all of the immunity support. Um, and I just really like it that way. So. It's one for lemon. Um, oh, and lemon is also like really uplifting in the diffuser. So especially if I'm cleaning or doing something else, I'll add lemon to my diffuser. Um, the citrus oils, there's other citrus oils that they don't come in the kit, but if you're ever looking for like affordable oils that you're wanting to add onto your orders, um, this, any of the citrus oils are really good. Um, 
I don't think you can go wrong. There's like, there's orange, there's lime, um, tangerine, grapefruit. I mean, there's, there's so many, so those are really good. Um, and then the last one, so this is like my big, I almost want to say like my big pregnancy oil that I've been obsessed with this time, other than peppermint is Digize. Um, and so this comes with a white label too, which means it can be ingested. So when I first started using oils, um, I'll be very honest, I was very scared to ingest them. So I honestly, I didn't ingest them for probably the first year or two, um, just until I learned more about them. And so like one piece of advice too, is like, do what you're comfortable with. If you're not uncomfortable ingesting them, don't ingest them. But if you're, if you're comfortable, like now I am comfortable with it. Um, so it just, but, but I also am like, because I know all I've educated myself about young living, I would not ingest any other essential oils. I wouldn't like any other lemon. If you go buy a lemon at Target, like do not ingest it because <laughs> you do not know what's in there. Um, but Digize is, this has peppermint in it. it has It has quite a few things in it. Um, peppermint and ginger are like two of the main ones that stick out to me because if you've ever read like, how to help with tummy troubles or anything like that. I feel like those are two things that like stick out to me that I've, that I've learned even before oils. So digize, um, you can put directly on your stomach. If you're having an upset stomach, um, you also like, once I started becoming more comfortable ingesting them, I will put a drop of digize, um, directly underneath my tongue. I'll just like look in the mirror and just do it. Um, actually at Christmas, I was at my sister-in-law's and I started to kind of just feel like a little bit of burning, like, like indigestion kind of going on, you know, like almost like a heartburn. Like I haven't had much heartburn this pregnancy, but so when I do like when I last pregnancy, I had a lot. Um, but this time when I do, I feel like I'm caught off guard. Like before I always had Tums and Pepsi and I had all this stuff and this time I just haven't dealt with it. So I had digest. And so I did put some under my tongue. And then the rest of the, the rest of the day, I, I felt fine. Um, I don't know. I just kind of, I don't know. I feel like it helped and I took some water too, but, um, also with Digize, I will, um, I also at Christmas time, I also love, I'm a teacher. So my students also know, like, I just, I love food and sometimes I just don't have like a self-control with food. And so sometimes that makes, so I overeat. And so Digize really will help me too. Like if I'm feeling a little bit nauseous or anything like that. Um, again, I've started just putting it underneath my tongue. Some people will put it in some water and like shoot it back or drink a glass of water. To be honest with you, I don't care for the smell of digize and I don't care for the taste very much, but it works so well for me that like I get past, that's why I put it under my tongue because then I don't have to like drink a whole glass of water with it in it. So I know it's different for everybody. So I mean, hopefully maybe you'll like it, but, um, yeah, that's just, that's Digize. So I don't know another, pre I feel like Digize and peppermint have been my, like, I don't know, my number one oils for this pregnancy. <laughs> so, um, even when I'm not pregnant, um, oh, and I also did too. So we have a kid's line. Um, obviously the kids line doesn't come just with a normal starter kit. There is a kids starter kit that you could get if you're mainly just looking for your kids, but, um, there is, um, like a roller that we have. That's just, it's like our, the nice thing about our kids line, it's all pre-diluted and it's all just ready to go for you. Um, when my daughter was born, she sometimes would cry and we couldn't figure and we'd be like, well, you know what? Like she hasn't had a bowel movement for a while. So my friend um, was like, have you tried putting any digize on her tummy? She's like, I would just dilute it. And so like, I, I had some roller bottles and I just put one drop in my roller bottle. I don't even know what size those are, like the normal size. Um, and I just put one drop and then I put jojoba oil in it because that's what I had. And I looked up safe carrier oils for babies. Cause again, like I'm super obsessed with whatever I put on her skin, like it has to be good. So I just made a roller bottle and honestly, I still have it. Um, we haven't needed to use it for a while. She's, um, about a year and a half right now, but I would put that on her tummy and I kid you not within like an hour, it seems like she would have a dirty diaper. So, um, that's another thing. Like I still, I still have it ready for this baby. It has, has her name on it. It says just Ava tummy on it, <laughs> but, um, this is another one that I just have ready to go, um, 
just for her. And you could make your own roller for yourself. Um, I just carry this plane um, and use it that way. So I will say I don't use it as much just on my stomach, um, mainly just because I don't love the smell. So, and it works for me to just put it in my mouth. So that's what I do. So um, I think we also, let's see. Um, so there are a few ways um, to get like free things through Young Living. And so what I wanna talk about is essential rewards. So when you sign up, there's gonna be a little bit, a little box to check and it says, um, do you want to sign up for essential rewards? Essential rewards basically just means, yes, I want a wellness box sent to my house monthly. Um, you can customize that, which is so awesome. Um, there's a few items that I get almost every month but then I can customize the rest of it. So like, for example, I don't need laundry detergent every month or I don't need lotion every month. So, but then I also, but I do need some things. There's some supplements that I get every month and that kind of a thing. And so your first order can be your first essential rewards, which means you're gonna get points back for that. So um, you'll get free shipping because it needs a, it's a hundred PV, it's over that. So. That just means based, it's almost like $100. So you're gonna get free shipping. You're gonna get points back. And then you're going to pick out your order for your next essential rewards thing. So in order for it to be considered an essential rewards order, it needs to be $50 or 50 PV. So for your next order, you can, you can choose anywhere from 50 to 100. But I will say free shipping to me is like a huge deal. And if you order a hundred PV, you get free shipping every time. Um, and then they're also, depending on how much you order, you can get free oils with your order as well. So like a hundred PV is um, free shipping. And then I think it's 190 PV, you start earning more oils. And so like this month you get three oils if you do 190 PV and then it keeps going up from there all the way up to 300 PV. So it just depends on like what you need um, like I said, you can customize it. When I first started with the central rewards, I was just ordering like 50 PV and it was just so that I could like get more things and try new things. And it's just, it's a really great way to honestly, to try new things. Cause you can be like, Oh, well next month I want to try this. Or, you know, you kind of, I kind of just set my budget and then that's, that's the amount of stuff I order. Um, you also get, so you get 10 to 25%. So the longer you're on essential rewards, the more points that you're going to get for those orders. So right now I get 20% back in points. Um, and so sitting in my like Young Living account, I have over 200 points that I can spend on like whatever I want. And so there's certain like makeup things that I'm looking to try and there's um, like makeup brushes, you could buy diffusers with it. Um, you can buy it like that's another way that I try and more try more products because it's free. So like why not? If you're going to make the order, you might as well make it on essential rewards. We also have shop orders that you can order whenever you want, um, but you don't earn the points back for those. And um, depending on how much you get, you don't always get the same free oils that you would get with essential rewards. So I love essential rewards. You also get free um, like loyalty products at three, six, nine, and 12 months. Um, so that's always like a fun surprise. Like I'm unboxing my thing and I'm like, oh, I think three months is peppermint. And so my husband just got his three month, um, like a month ago. And it was like, oh, peppermint. Awesome. Great. Like I use this all the time. Like I, I love another peppermint. So, um, so that's really fun that you can get that. Um, also <clears throat> I always talk about too, that it really depends on who you sign up with. So our team is amazing. We have classes. Um, I would say we have at least like, we have several classes a week, like not just a month, like a week we have, we have all kinds of classes. So this is like an introduction class. Um, anybody could, could invite people to this class. Um, anybody could come to this class. We also have business classes, which Tracy talked about, um, that we have like right after this, right after this, we have a business class. Um, if you're interested just in learning about that side of things, we have so many really, really cool classes and there are different times of the day because we have different time zones for people. We have people in different countries. Um, 
And I don't know, just the support that we get from this group alone is just amazing. So I always say, don't sign up with, you know, Karen down the street because your mom is best friends with her. Sign up with somebody that you know that you can ask 20 questions to. Like, I know that the four of us um, hosting this class, we will nerd out about oils like anytime. Like you just let us know. We will talk, like we'll talk anything with you. So um, that's really fun. So, um, so with that said, how to order a kit. So if you get back to the person who referred you to this class, they will help get you signed up. There are different kits. And I will tell you right now, two of our kits are on sale for 10% off, which like never happens. Um, I've, I've never seen that happen. I mean, I'm, I don't want to say never because I'm sure it's happened, but I'm just going to say in the past year, I just, I haven't seen that happen. So they're 10% off right now. Um, and it's the kit that Tracy showed you with the desert mist diffuser. And then the other one is it was a holiday kit. Um, it was like special around the holidays and it comes with a really cute carrying case and it, the oils are a little bit different, but there's still oils that I promise you, like you will use or ask the person you sign up with, ask them how you will use them. So, um, those are two options that you have. And like I said, the person who referred you to this can kind of help you. Um, so we're going to have right now, um, after this, there will be a replay in the comments. If you want to watch this again, or maybe you didn't catch the first half or something like this, you are welcome to watch it again. You are welcome to send it to a friend if you want. Um, and that will be posted later on here in this group. So, um, I don't know, Tracy, is there anything else in tying this up that you can think of? Girl, you did amazing. Thank you so much. That was perfect. You talked about everything. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys because I'm super visual. This is the kit that um, uh, Melissa was talking about. It's the one that I had opened earlier, right? So it's got this, it's got the 12 oils, all the goodies, like the Ninja Red, the Thieves Spray. I just want to make sure you guys see it all, okay? So 12 oils plus the little fitments the sanitizer, thief spray, which is awesome. You can like spray it on surfaces. So cleaning on the go. Ninja Red, if you've not tried this yet, is amazing. It's an antioxidant drink and you get two samples of this. Um, it's made from wolf berries, which are the same thing as goji berries. So super amazing for your immune system. But the whole kit, so in the US, uh, I was typing in the comments, but just in case anybody who's watching the replay, um, through January 22nd, the kits are an additional 10% off. So normally they're 60% off retail. So an additional 10% on top of that. So that's like 70%. Um, the kits go for easily over $400 in the US. So um, at 60% off, it's 165, right? But with this 10% off additional sale, it's 148.50. So this really is like the best time to get started. And this is like so perfect because you have until tomorrow to get it. And if it's you're watching the replay and it's after the 22nd, this is still an amazing deal because you're still getting that 60% off. But I'm just telling you like so many uses, right? Like I remember thinking, I only need like three or four oils. I don't know if I need everything. Here's the thing. If you get a couple of oils, this set also includes the diffuser. If you've got two or three oils in a diffuser, that's basically the same price as just paying the 148.50 and getting the whole set. And then you're going to find oils that you never knew you always needed, right? Like frankincense. I never would have picked that one out for myself. And now it's like one of my favorite oils ever. So there's a reason why Young Living put this together for us. It's because it really is the most versatile for the whole family um, for so many different uses. And like I said, it includes the diffuser too, which is just so, so cute. And if you don't know how to use it, it's just water. So you open it up, okay, you add it to the fill line, put water, and you put about um, eight drops of oil, and you can mix and match oils. You could put like, you know, four drops of lemon, four drops of lavender, right, and kind of mix it up. Just do eight to 10 drops total, but the diffuser is amazing. And something else that I want to mention, because I did this and I don't want you to make my mistake, I was like, I can just get a diffuser on Amazon. It's, it's cool. They're all right. 
here's the thing. When I buy stuff on Amazon, I don't know about you, but like they just don't work as well. They're kind of janky. It doesn't come out like it, the output isn't great or it breaks in a few months. So the thing is, is like with Young Living, right? The diffuser has a 12 month product warranty, but like I've got diffusers that are still going like five, six years later. Um, the customer support is amazing. So not only are you getting great support from us as far as education, classes, and so many ways to learn, but the customer support from Young Living is like a bar none. They'll replace the part or the product or the, the whole unit, right, if needed. But if you ever need anything, they're there as well. So it's kind of like a two-in-one deal that you're getting amazing products, top quality. You're not going through Amazon. You're going through a real company, right? Um, and you get our amazing community. So this is definitely time to get it. Um, to the time to get the kit. So like um, Melissa said, make sure you get back with the person who referred you to this call and go, I want it. Let's do it. Let's do it now. And they're going to give you a sign up link or they'll tell you to go to youngliving.com and you can enter um, their member number. Um, but it's definitely the time to do it. We cannot wait to have you in our community. Like Melissa said, we have so many awesome classes coming up. So again, make sure you get back with the person who referred you to this workshop tonight. Um, we are so thankful you guys are all here. So I wanna invite you guys to stay on because we're gonna transition and talk about the Young Living Business Opportunity. But I wanna say a big thank you um, to Stacy, Brittany, and Melissa. You guys are amazing. So loved hearing your stories. Can you guys in the comments just tell them what a great job they did and how much you love their stories? The stories are what's amazing, right? Like it's so cool